Okay. Hello everyone. Uh, today, come back again with Mutiara Podcast. Okay, so today we have special guests in our love school. Okay, so they are Mr. Starkey yes. and Mr. Sylvian. Okay, but before it, uh, I'd like you to introduce yourself. Perhaps start from Mr. Starkey. Okay, thank you. Thanks for uh, giving us this opportunity to be here. My name is Starkey, Mr. Starkey. I'm originally from South Africa and I've lived in Indonesia for 20 years and in Southeast Asia for almost 35 years. Thank you. Okay, and hi everybody. Uh, my name is Mr. Sylvan, but you can call me Mr. Sly. Uh, I am from Canada and I have been living in Indonesia for 10 years now. So five years in Jakarta and five years in Surabaya. Wow, it's amazing. 10 years and 5? 2025. Wow, it's amazing. Okay, so that. Okay, uh, start from Mr. Starkey. Yes. Uh, what is your impression to join this event as the church? I think it was it was exciting and eye-opening, uh, especially as a as a, an, a native speaker, to see that schools are really investing in 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 training and, and teaching their children to speak this language. So yeah, it was exciting and and the the standard and the grade was really really high. So good job for the teachers and the students did great. So. Okay, thank yeah. you. And then how about you? First, I'd like to say um, it's rare nowadays that I visit schools. Almost everything is done uh, online. Mm. So actually coming to a school and finally seeing a bit of life inside of a building was actually like, oh, wow, finally I get to, uh, to see the kids and so on. So just that itself, to actually be in person and uh, hearing the kids face to face, that was, uh, that was already something good. And yeah, in terms of competition, I was, uh, was quite surprised to see the level of English of, uh, of your students. So, yeah. good job to you guys, it's because of you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, perhaps the next question is special for Mr. Sri. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is the most interesting that you like from this competition? The most interesting thing? Um, It, would, it will sound a bit weird, but like I, I really, uh, I really liked uh, the way that you guys were organized and everything. Uh, with the wheel, uh, everything was fluid and so on. So I think, like in terms of logistics, like everything was uh, was really really good. Yeah. Okay. So how we manage this competition? Yes, the management of the whole competition, like everything was on time. Every, yeah, everything was uh, was really good. So. Okay, and the next question. Um, what do you think about the students' uh, speaking skill? I, I think uh, for, for the age groups, uh, they ra rated really high. Um, I scored, initially I was scoring really low, but uh, I realized that, that when it comes to, to expressing, expressing themselves, the, the, um, 98% of the children did absolutely amazing. Just uh, their reading quality is there's no thing, uh, there's no um, there's no argument there. They they did an absolutely great job. So very impressed, very impressed. Thank you. Perhaps I can give uh, addition question for Mr. Sai because uh, Mr. Slay and Mr. Starkey is as the judge in the different level. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Slay in the first level. And what do you think about the skill? Uh, in terms of skills, uh, you could see the difference between grade one, grade two, and grade three. Um, I would say though maybe grade one and grade two were quite similar and that might have been an, an, an effect of uh, the online online learning and so on but in terms of like I already see that at grade three students are already quite confident and their English level is almost uh, almost there like it's really good okay. Okay. and the next question for you boot. Uh, please give uh, some tips to improve their skill. You go first. You first. Of course, I, I could say like 
and it's a lot easier for them now than it, it was maybe back in your days is that now you have the internet you have movies and so on and so on so it's I think it's the best way for kids to to learn English now in terms of pronunciation sometimes it's for them to realize the mistakes that they're making and just adjusting their their, their accent or pronunciation a bit for example especially with the R the Indonesian R versus the English R is very different. So just having like the being conscious that they're actually doing the R instead of the R sound, for example. But uh, yeah, it's they're they're exposed to English language almost every day, so I'm not worried for the, their development in the, in the long run. Uh, I, I totally agree, and and just to add to Mr. Sly here um, that. Uh, apart from the R, there's also the S and the SH. The, S -H. Um, the, the, the key, I always believe, is repetition. So whenever somebody makes that mistake, you, 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 you get it there, you, know, you, you stop it there, or you make them realize it there. And, uh, but again, yeah, we have, we have all the tools now, and tools in our hands, and we can, we can connect the, to the whole world. So, but there's another thing I'd like to add. I think um, <clears throat> pronunciation is important. There's a lot of children that can actually speak English, but they don't understand the language. They don't understand the formation of the language. So I would go back to reading. I, I, I swear by reading. I think libraries are crucial. I think books are key to uh, understanding this language and the rules of English because there's a lot of us native speakers that don't understand grammar also some of us have to go to school we can speak it we can we can communicate in English but we don't understand grammar so reading is key I I swear by reading um, yeah that's it thank you it's awesome to start that. yeah okay so perhaps this is the last one please give me one statement for our school one step, one step for our school. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll take the first one. Um, yeah, go for it. Um, <laughs> books read books. Books read books. That's all I can say. I, I have nothing else. That's, uh, yeah, that's it. I, I'm done. Yeah. Thank you. And how about you, Mr. Swain? A colorful and lively school. Colorful and lively school. It is. It is. You're right. It is. <laughs> they got a swimming pool, man. Yes. Come on. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think enough for our podcast today, Mr. Stake and Mr. Sway. Thank you for your time. Appreciate nice it. to see you. Thank you. Nice Thank to you. see you again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. okay. The last to say. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. See you in the next podcast. Bye bye.